From this disturbing secret found in a kid's game to a terrifying easter egg, here's the 22 creepiest things found in video games. For rule number one in gaming, you see a mannequin, you shoot it. But when it comes to Nightmare House 2, a creepy easter egg took revenge on people doing this. Once all of the mannequins have been knocked over in this secret room, a hole will blast in the wall, and if you decide to go through it, it'll lead you through a pretty horrifying maze full of jump scares, creepy mannequins staring at you, and eventually, a sewer full of them. I mean, this is super weird. Psychonauts is a platform that is mostly considered family friendly, but you could find a terrifying hidden room that unlocks a memory belonging to someone named Mila. One day at her orphanage, a fire broke out and she wasn't able to save any of the children inside. It is really dark, but this is where it gets even scarier because in the same room, you can jump inside of a chest and it leads you here. Dying Light is full of easter eggs, but none are quite as creepy as the evil teddy bear. During the Rupert the Gunsmith mission, one of your objectives is to go to his apartment, and if you do so, you can discover a pretty freaky bear in the corner, but there's a secret behind this. If you approach him, the game gives you an option to interact with it. One of the most unexplainable things in video game history is included in Far Cry 5, where you could drive up to a building called St. Francis Veteran Center, but if you get too close, this happens. Nobody knows why this building is so mysterious, but players actually discovered a way to get in here using glitches. The interior is incredibly creepy, but fully decorated, and to this day, the mystery is still unsolved. In PT, there are a lot of creepy secrets, but one specific easter egg took a lot of players by surprise. If you manage to glitch the game and get out of bounds, you'll be immediately murdered by Lisa, and whether this was intended or not, it's still terrifying. And in Nyctophobia Devil Unleashed, you could earn a crowbar item, allowing you to unlock a briefcase that was previously sealed shut, but inside you'll find a key with a horrifying secret. If the player makes their way to the basement, they'll find this. And if you're old enough to remember arcades, you might have seen a carnival cabinet laying around. This game from 1998 was full of disgusting levels and creatures that made you feel grossed out. But the Frankenstein baby boss battle had a disturbing secret. If you opened up the door inside of the arcade cabinet, you could find a hidden switch. And it turns out that this button's sole purpose was to change the creepy baby into a teddy bear. The devs were scared that gamers would be offended about having to shoot a baby and included the option just in case, which makes sense. And at Payday 2, there are tons of maps and each of them have their own story to tell, although a common discovery is a creepy figure that can be spotted across a few of the maps. In paintings and images, you can see it hiding in the background or trapped in a rock. When the Shackle Throne auction heist was released, it included a really creepy secret, because on this map, there's a 1 in 4 chance that when lightning strikes in the distance, you will see a dark figure lurking in the clouds. The same one from the paintings. This was part of an ARG that had been going on a Payday 2 for 6 years, and some questions remain unanswered to this day. Doki Doki Literature Club broke the internet when it was released in 2017. It was praised for how creative it was, the story it told, and some of the creepiest easter eggs. Monica and Natsuki's character files include creepy notes for the player and a picture of a girl with no pupils, but by far the weirdest discovery belongs to Yuri. In her character file, you can decipher some numbers and it translates to a pretty long story, but this is unlike anything else in the game because it's a note written by a girl who decided to murder someone just to see what it feels like, and this gets even creepier. Players discovered that this story was more more than just an easter egg. In 2015, a user named Linda Watson's story made a post on Tumblr two years before Doki Doki came out and included an image of a wooden lockbox with a heart on it. It was the same story that could be found in the game's files just two years earlier, and it turns out the developer Dan Salvato was the secret author of this creepypasta. I mean, talk about dedication. Over in Silent Hill 4, the story itself is pretty weird, but this unsettling secret was designed to completely creep you out. You live in a rundown apartment building, and there are tons of things you can interact with with, but the weirdest is this small hole in the wall. It lets you peep into your neighbor's apartment and spy on them, and throughout the game you can watch you do various tasks, but one thing stays the same, the pink rabbit on her bed. That is until one occasion when your neighbor leaves the room, because if you stop looking out of the hole and then interact with it again, the rabbit's moved and is staring right at you. And for those who have played 2016's Doom, you're probably familiar with the game's satanic theme. There's a lot of heavy metal, blood, and demons. That is why it's no surprise that one of the songs in the soundtrack includes this secret pentagram message and the number 666. In Red Dead Redemption 2, you can explore one of the most detailed open worlds ever made, so when Reverend Swanson said this, some players decided to investigate further. If you traveled the Blue Water Marsh, you'd start to notice weird occurrences yourself. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting. 
If you kept returning here between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m., the ghost would reveal herself. She never loved you. She never did. After encountering her 10 more times, you learn more about this ghost story. Her name was Agnes Dowd, and she would meet her secret lover by the tree every night between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. He got her pregnant and left for another woman, and this is when Agnes's father found out about the secret relationship and killed him. He put down the gun! Do it for me! Daddy! Daddy, listen to him! Take your hands off of him! From here, it's implied that Agnes was full of grief and murdered her own family. Now she's trapped as a ghost, reliving her story for eternity, and once you learn it, Agnes never appears in the game again. That is definitely a lot to digest. But an easter egg that wasn't supposed to be disturbing could be found in Spider-Man PS4. Occasionally, a boat in the river would drive close enough for you to see, and if you went into photo mode, you could catch a glimpse of this really creepy group. The developers didn't think you'd get this far out, so leaving these unfinished humans was a good decision at the time. Even though it was extremely disturbing, this was updated again when Insomniac released Spider-Man Remastered, so if you go back to the boats in this version of the game, the unfinished NPCs are still there, but this time they have a sticky note that says, did you miss us? When the crew released in 2015, it claimed to let you drive across the entire United States. With a map this big, it's no surprise there are tons of secrets for players to find, except one of these easter eggs is a little unsettling for a simple racing game. In the south, you could come across a mysterious car sitting in the middle of nowhere, and nearby there's a floating stack of new newspapers that say world ending on them, and the subtitle says BBC slammed over racist drama screening. It's safe to say this whole thing is the most random easter egg I've ever come across, but it gets even creepier. Just a few feet from this floating object, there's a dead body on the floor, and to this day, nobody knows why this easter egg was even here. Over in Goat Simulator, this game has been famous for years. It's a parody of simulator games and probably has more pop culture references oh than an episode God, of The Big Bang Theory. Theory. But even though the game is usually lighthearted, one of the locations on the map is a graveyard and it's actually really unsettling. You can find a tribute to Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, a goat that looks like Slenderman, and a random guy crying near a tree. Indie games creep players out more than any other developer because you have no idea what to expect, and that's the case in Go Home, a Japanese horror game that was released in 2019. Playing the game normally is enough to make you want to sleep with the light on, but there's an Easter egg that is so unsettling. At one point in the game, you can see a person fall off your apartment's roof, but if you head down the stairs, their body is surrounded by Onrios, and this happens. Happens. For those who grew up on the PlayStation 2, you might have played The Getaway, but the sequel contains one of the weirdest easter eggs imaginable. Black Monday is a sequel, but it has a completely different story to the first game, which is what makes this secret super creepy. You can find a hidden room in an abandoned car lot, and among the garbage bags is a dead body lying here. This isn't a random person, she was actually a character from the first game, and the weirdest part is that nobody knows how her body got here, or how it's in such great condition considering it's been two years since she died. There are so many disturbing easter Easter eggs out there, but Poppy Playtime manages to creep you out without even showing anything. In the first chapter, you can find tapes that talk about some kind of creature that is murdering scientists. The story truly came to light in chapter 2 when it was named Experiment 1006, and images of a long spider hand could be seen on the TV screens. It's expected to be the final villain of the game, and when you kill Mommy Longlegs, her final words are this. You make me part of it. 1006 makes its first and only appearance after she dies, dragging her body out of the room. This is genius, because how this villain looks is completely left to our imagination. I mean, sometimes that's more unsettling than just seeing the real thing. Players who explored the world of Hitman contracts were taken by surprise when the hotel mission practically turned into a horror game. The building itself has a really unnerving atmosphere, and the creepiest part is you're being watched. In most of the hotel rooms, you could look at the mirror and spot a ghost staring right back at you. One of the hotel wings was closed off, but if if you broke in, you could discover a murder scene, and it's assumed that the ghost belongs to the hotel guest that was murdered. It also appears in corridors and walkways and haunts you throughout the level. However, players realize you could put an end to this, because if you manage to get close enough to the ghost, Agent 47 can strangle it with fiber wire. For this, you'll get the secret achievement, Ghostbuster. While Rockstar told us the tale of a ghost in Red Dead, a more disturbing story is behind this dead woman from Grand Theft Auto V. At the bottom of the ocean, players found a body with a bag over her head, and she was tied to a heavy rock before being thrown into the sea. It's part of a larger murder mystery easter egg, but for most people who discover this body on its own, it's nightmare fuel. But one of the most elaborate discoveries ever found was in Gears of War Judgment, because in the library, players realized that you could shoot the paintings and blood would begin to run down their faces. Once you've done this for all of the portraits, a demonic skeleton was summoned and you'd have a chance to fight it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, it's been Tommy, keep it here on T5G.